Alrighty, y'all. Howdy, howdy, howdy. We have a fantastic day. We are on our way to SeaWorld to do the inside look. But on the way down, we are stopping at Raising Cane's, where we're going to get some chicken. Now, this chicken is the closest thing to Chicken Guy that we can get here in Texas. They have some pretty good uh, little meals here, so let's try these out. Alrighty, here's a look at the menu. You can see we have uh, the box combo for $8.89. It's just chicken tenders. Where are their sandwiches at? They got the sandwich combo for $7.99. The three finger combo, which is three chicken fingers for $7.99. And then the Canaic, Canaic combo, which is six chicken vendor, six chicken tenders for $13.69. I think I just want the sandwich combo. You can see some of your sides here are Texas toast or fries, and then they have coleslaw. But you get to choose between Texas toast and fries, which is kind of unusual. You can have a sandwich and then your sides will be toast. I went with the fries and the sandwich, and then the cane sauce is supposed to be really good. I haven't had it in a while, so I don't remember what it's like. But they marinate their chicken fingers and they are marinated for 24 hours and then hand battered and breaded with flour and special seasoning and then fried. So you can see the inside of that sandwich there. It's got that uh, cane sauce on it, which is, uh, I don't even know how to explain it. It's very, um, it's tangy, a little bit of sweetness to it, um, but not hot at all, obviously, because I'm gonna have to put some Louisiana hot sauce on there. That's, that's the uh, ketchup and ranch. Tina got the uh, coleslaw here. She said it was pretty good. They got the, like I said, they got the boxes, which is three big chicken fenders, or four big chicken fenders, chicken tenders, not chicken fenders. And mine is three chicken tenders on a sandwich, on a bun. Now, I would not say that this is better than um, Chicken Guy by any stretch of imagination. I like the fact that Chicken Guy has more sauces and whatnot. But for Texas, this is probably the best chicken sandwich. This and, to me, Chick-fil-A for fast food type restaurants. They're, they're the best chicken sandwich. Yeah, Bill Miller's has got one. We'll have to go to Bill Miller's one time and show them that. The bun here is like uh, really greasy. It's very good though, um, but really greasy. And Tina said the toast is excellent. Is it buttery? Oh yeah. Yeah, you can see that it's, uh, oh, look at that. Look at Gabby just showing that to you. Oh my God, that's good. You can see it's a it's a really small restaurant here, very tiny. It was much um, there were there were a lot more people than when we came in, and usually this uh, usually these are themed to like a, the school that's in their area. You can see those little high school helmets up there. Zoom into that. It looks like there's uh, Madison High School, and I can't see the other helmet. Uh, I don't know. I can't tell what that helmet says. But these are normally themed to whatever schools in the area. The ones in Texas, like San Marcos, are themed to Texas State. Texas A&M has one in, in, uh, in oh well, in uh, College Station is themed to uh, Texas A&M. Alrighty, y'all. Here is the the damage done. It was twenty eight forty four, which is not bad for lunch. And you can see uh, the girls' box combos cost eight ninety nine. My sandwich was seven ninety nine, but it was really good. So my only comment would be, and Tina actually uh, said this, uh, is that the, um, the the chicken is not as crispy as it is at Chicken Guy. So, uh, but but still really good though. I would definitely recommend coming here if you're going on your way down to SeaWorld and it's probably better than anything you're gonna get at SeaWorld as far as food goes. So um, yeah, so good lunch, nice and cheap. We're gonna head to SeaWorld now and let's uh, see some animals. Hello everyone, we made it to SeaWorld. And you're gonna see that there is nobody here. It is pretty empty. I've been to SeaWorld many a times, not seen it this empty before. So in the month of January, SeaWorld does an inside look. And this is all about the animals. They bring animals out, they show them around, they show, you, show them to you. And it usually happens for the first two weekends in uh, January. And then next week they move into their Mardi Gras celebration. 
and uh, this used to never happen. SeaWorld used to close down for the months of January and February almost, pretty much the whole month. Maybe at the end of February they would come back. But uh, the last two years, they have been uh, opening up in January, and this is one of the things they can do, is this inside look. And you can see the sign over here, I don't know if you can see it. It says, let the good times roll. The Mardi Gras celebration, which happens from January the 15th through February the 27th. So we'll definitely have to come down here for that. But you can see there's not a lot of here, not, not a lot of people here. So if we want to ride and we want to do anything, we should have the ability to be able to do that pretty easily. They got Mardi Gras banners already up for next week. But here's the inside look, the behind the scenes. Looks like you scan a QR code and it tells you the schedule of what's going on. Here's our first animal. He, he's really pretty no, it's just, he's just kind of chill right now. Look, look how cool she is. So I came around here to get a picture of his head because he was turned that way. Oh, there, there she goes. How pretty she is. Look at this. Look at this beautiful eagle. Say he or she. So she. Her name is Star. Star? She will be nine in February. Oh, wow. She's really pretty. She's a rescue out of Florida. Oh, nice. 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 She's uh, currently still eight. She'll be nine in February. She looks like she's a little restless right now. I think uh, she set off by construction. So, like, they're uh, doing something over there. So, she. They can see a lot better than we can, so she sees everything that's going on over there. Oh, wow. Thank you so much. You're welcome. How cute they are. They're very cute. They are from the island of Madagascar. Oh, wow. Are they rescues? Um, so they were actually born in a different zoological facility. Now these guys are part of the SSP of the Species Survival Plan because they're critically endangered. Um, now the SSP is basically like an online dating website for animals. They pair them up by genetics. Uh -huh. um, so that's why they came from a different facility. So that's pretty much what that's all about. You can see all the animals coming out. We saw Star. Star's our favorite. Star's our favorite. She's a beautiful eagle. And me being an eagle fan, she touches my heart. You can see the indoor areas are still requiring a mask here. So be sure to bring your... Uh, your mask if you're coming to SeaWorld because in order to be able to go inside, you're gonna to have to wear one. Alrighty, we are headed into Pacific Point and we see that they have a uh, inside look for the sea lions. We haven't been around the sea lions in forever. Alrighty y'all, we made it to the sea lions. Look how cute they are, getting some sun. Look at these guys, they are feeding. They get rather noisy when they want to eat. This is how Sadie would do it. So you can feed these guys from 11.30 a.m. to 2.45. And one tray is $6, five trays is $20. This guy right here is chilling out. He's looking at me. Oh, he thinks like I probably got food. He's really spotted. Oh, look how cute he is. Look how cute he is. It's a cute little guy down there. He's waiting for me to drop in some, some fish. Looks like, looks like that dude. Nope, oh, got a little squabble going on here. I don't want to make my hand smell like fish, but I would feed you though. If I didn't want my hands to smell like fish. We don't have any food for you, but you are cute though. You're very cute. You're trying to impress us with your cuteness. And here we got an Asian small clawed otter. They came flying over to us. I guess they want food also. How cute they are. It's just the two of them. So these guys, obviously they come from Asia and they are near threatened, so they're not endangered. 
They have very short legs, which help them to swim, walk, groom, and manipulate their prey. River otters use their tails to propel them when swimming at high speed, to steer when swimming slowly, and to help balance when standing upright on their hind legs. He's cleaning himself. He's very cute. They're very cute. I don't know if this is brand new or I never noticed it, but Harbor Market now has a mobile ordering pickup window. Obviously it's not very busy right now, but just note to yourself, you can mobile order and stay outside and pick up. And it does look like it's actually, I see people in there work or they're working that window. looks like Star Theater has got nothing showing. No show times, no nothing. Right outside Pacific Point, they have this, uh, this little submarine, look how cool he looks. He was commissioned on April 18th, 1988, and it was uh, operated with SeaWorld, and he can go to 1,000 feet or 1,200 pounds PSI, and there's only one person gonna be in there. How cool is that? Alrighty, y'all, we're standing across the lake here. You see the lake's kinda green today. But up there is Tidal Surge. You can see they're very, looks like they're getting very close to uh, having it ready to go. They actually have the uh, the seats, and the swings, all connected now. That's pretty crazy. Uh, last time we were here, this was not even anywhere near this close to being built, but it's uh, it's really close now. We still have uh, Christmas decorations out here. We got a gingerbread house over here, and we got a gingerbread house over there. And I still see Christmas lights on the trees. So uh, still some cleaning up going on from Christmas time. We've got more Christmas stuff out still. Got some trees. Lots of trees over here, wow. Christmas is still well and alive in this area. You can see Rio Loco closed for annual maintenance. Operations will resume in spring of 2022. Alrighty, we are heading up to the Orca Stadium, where we are going to see some orcas and do the orca encounter. I'm assuming this is just the normal orca show that they have, but I can't be for sure, so we'll check it out. Maybe we get to ride one. Tina's hoping that we get to ride an orca. I don't know though. Chances are slim. I don't think you can, you can ride orcas. These behaviors keep our whales active and engaged. SeaWorld's killer whales have inspired generations to care about our natural world. And we're excited to share their story with you today. Killer whales are the ocean's top predator. They use cooperation and communication, not just size and strength, to take their place at the top of the ocean's food web. At the bottom are small animals, like krill. At the top, the apex predator, the killer whale. Follow the leader with 2R and Kristen. 
Awesome. Why don't you guys take your left arm, put it straight up in the air, and give him a big wave. And look at that. He's waving right back at you guys. As you can see, he's paying very close attention to you. Here's a full-size view of Tidal Surge. Really large. You can see Atlantis is right behind it. And it's at least as tall as Atlantis. And I'm sure when you're swinging on those swings, it's going to be very, uh, very high swinging. It looks like it's got like two cables on each uh, seat. Should be interesting. So here's Atlantis and it is totally drained. No water in it at all. I'm sure they're repairing it for the season, but I don't see it like this too much. All of the face painting blue booths and the draw yourself booths are open. Easy bucks. Yeah, they SeaWorld knows how to make some dollar bills. They have these these little booths open. They don't have anybody out. But there's nothing out, like hardly any of the food booths are open. It's a couple, but not too terribly many. Yeah, the drinks, Coca, yeah. The Coca-Cola place up here is open. It's kind of cool. Oh, maybe it's not. I see people in there. Oh, there's one dipping dots place open, got it. Interesting. Alrighty y'all, what a fun time we had at Inside Look. We got some uh, pretty good food today at um, Raising Cane's, but that's gonna wrap it up. Uh, we're gonna head back to the house. We we'll catch the end of the football games, but we did have a good time. We hope you enjoyed it. Please give this a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you like the video. You know we love you guys. And remember, live problem free. I'll see you next time. Bye.